stay there. Global AI market is expected to reach about 2 trillion USD, growing with a CAGR of about 25% annually until 2030. Gen AI alone is experiencing even a faster growth. Gen AI is revolutionizing various industries, including banking, telecom, healthcare, education, entertainment, media, and beyond. Chat GPT and Google Bard have proved that Gen AI technologies can be used in many ways. These are some of the real world use cases where Gen AI is being used. Given this projected growth in this area, there is an imminent surge in demand for experts in AI and machine learning. Data science champion is my volunteer work and my aim is to empower more and more individuals in this area. I authored Zero to Hero in Data Science, a comprehensive course in AI and machine learning hosted on Google Colab. Following numerous requests, I am expanding learning content in video format. Zero to Hero in Natural Language Processing, Large Language Model and Generative AI is the first course in video format. This course is truly designed for anybody who really want to start from zero. Let me quickly brief you about what is there in this course. We are going to start with very basics about the complexities in human language which makes this natural language processing a difficult task but at the same time a very interesting domain. Then we are going to learn about the components and building blocks of human language. These two topics will set a very good foundation in your journey towards learning natural language processing, large language model and generative AI. It might surprise you to know that machine learning models or language models do not consume textual data. Instead, they exclusively work on numerical data, leveraging the statistical relationships between the data points to learn the relationships and patterns within your data. Therefore, all this textual data must be transformed into numerical form through text data preprocessing pipeline. We will talk about this text data preprocessing pipeline in detail. Despite our proficiency in language as humans, conveying the same language to machine requires numerical format. You must be curious to learn that how machine learns this human language from this numerical format. And this is where embedding comes into play. Once this textual data is converted into numerical format called tokens, embedding techniques are applied which facilitates these models to learn the relationships between these tokens to understand the human language. There are various embedding techniques which we will be discussing in this course. We will also talk about large language model concepts like zero sort, one sort, few sorts learning. We will also talk about instruction fine tuning, how to write system prompts, how to write user prompts through prompt engineering. To bring these concepts into real world context, we will also explore real world use cases and try to implement them. Okay, so our objectives and agenda are well set. So without further ado, let's embark on this enlightening journey.